Hello students, let's learn today Pythagorean triplets. Triplets means a set of three. But in Pythagorean triplets, this is a set of three positive integers. Let us take three positive integers A, B and C. Here A and B are smaller than C and the condition is the sum of the square of the two smaller numbers must be equal to the square of the third number which is the biggest number. So, Pythagorean triplets are three positive integers that completely satisfy the Pythagoras theorem. In any right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of square of other two sides. Here, the sides of this right angle triangle are 3, 4 and 5 units. Here, the side 3 and 4 are legs and 5 is the hypotenuse. So, the square of 3 plus square of 4 must be equal to the square of 5 and this holds in any right angle triangle and these three numbers which create the right angle triangle those are the Pythagorean triplets when all these three numbers are three positive integers. Now let us find Pythagorean triplets. How to find Pythagorean triplets? Let us take one positive integer or natural number m which is greater than 1. The condition is 2m, m square minus 1 and m square plus 1. These three numbers are forming a Pythagorean triplet. Now how they are forming let us discuss. Here we have taken m equal to 2, we know that m must be greater than 1. So, m we can take as 2 or 3 or 5 or any positive integer. So, when we are taking m equal to 2, that means 2m equal to 4 and m square minus 1 equal to 3 and m square plus 1 equal to 5. So, 4, 3 and 5 they are forming one Pythagorean triplet. Remember that here only for m equal to 2, 2m is greater than m square minus 1 and in other Pythagorean triplets always 2m is the smallest one after that m square minus 1 after that m square plus 1, m square plus 1 is the biggest number. Next when we are taking m equal to 3 here 2 into 3 equal to 6, 3 square minus 1 equal to 8, 3 square plus 1 equal to 10. Here 6, 8 and 10 are another Pythagorean triplet. Here when we are taking m equal to 5, here 2 m equal to 10, m square minus 1 equal to 24 and m square plus 1 equal to 26. So 10, 24 and 26 they are also forming one Pythagorean triplet. In this way we can find or we can create infinite number of Pythagorean triplets. The set of Pythagorean triplets are endless, but the smallest known Pythagorean triplets are 3, 4 and 5. So, by taking 3, 4 and 5, we can generate many Pythagorean triplets where n is a positive integer. Here, n we can take any positive integer where we are taking n equal to 2 that means 6, 8 and 10. 3n, 4n, 5n. Here when we are taking n equal to 3, 3 and 9, 4 and 12, 5 and 15. When we are taking 4, 3 and 12, 4 and 16 and 5n is 20. So in this way we are forming many Pythagorean triplets. Now how to find other numbers of the Pythagorean triplets when one number is known? Let us take one example. If the smallest number is 6, find other two Pythagorean triplets, other two numbers. Here 2m equal to 6 because I have told you before that 2m is the smallest number. When 2m equal to 6, that means m equal to 3. When m equal to 3 means the another number is m square minus 1 that is equal to 9 minus 1 and it is 8 and m square plus 1 that is 3 square plus 1 
9 plus 1 that is equal to 10. So, another numbers are 8 and 10. So, 6, 8 and 10 are the Pythagorean triplets. Another way how to find that is we have discussed 3n, 4n and 5n also they are forming Pythagorean triplets. Here we can take 6 as 3n, we cannot take 6 as 4n and 5n because 6 is not a multiple of 4 or 5. Here 3n we can take as 6. So, when 3n equal to 6 that means n equal to 2 and when n equal to 2 that means 4n equal to 8 and 5n equal to 10. So, 8 and 10 are the other two numbers of this Pythagorean triplet. So, this is another way to find. Now, let us discuss another number. Write a Pythagorean triplet whose one number is 8. Let us check when 8 equal to 2n that means n equal to 4. For n equal to 4 that means n square minus 1 equal to 16 minus 1 equal to 15 and n square plus 1 that is equal to 16 plus 1 that is equal to 17. So, other members are 15 and 17. But 8 we can take as n square minus 1 also because the nearest 8 plus 1 that is equal to 9 which is a perfect square. So, 8 also we can take n square minus 1 when n square minus 1 equal to 8 that means n square equal to 9 and n equal to 3. When we are getting n square minus 1 we have to find 2n and m square plus 1 and when n equal to 3 we are getting 2n equal to 6 one number and n square plus 1 that is equal to 10 another number. So, 6 and 10 are another number. So, in first triplet 8, 15 and 17 are the Pythagorean triplets and in second condition 8, 6 and 10 are the another Pythagorean triplets. In this way we can find Pythagorean triplets. Hope you enjoyed learning. Thank you.